Well, good afternoon and welcome to Mac TV as we continue to highlight all the team owners, the team players, and officials that's surrounding this 2022 US Open. It's the 14th edition and it promises to be the best of the lot. With the biggest prize money in the history of the tournament, 150000 to be given out. I'm joined right now by Yasir Bati, who is the team owner of the Clarion County. The Clarion County took part in the tournament for the very first time last year. And they're looking to go all the way this year, I'm sure, to lift that top prize. Good afternoon, Yasir. How are you? Good afternoon, Vinod. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, great to be a part of this interview. And, and the tell youth, me, of course. Tell me, what's the hope and aspirations for your team at this year's tournament? So we already had decided that we were going to participate in the 2022 version of the tournament. Uh, as I uh, the, told you last year when you asked our commitment to be in. So we looked at what we, that was our first tournament. Uh, so we looked at what we were lacking last year and we tried to plug those holes. Obviously in any tournament, uh, the uh, aim is to win the tournament. So we believe we have a very good team this year. Uh, we believe we have plugged all the holes. We 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 believe we are our stronger team uh, this year also. So just between last year and this year, we participated in the Unity Cup, which is another tournament. Uh, we were runners up, and then the Diversity Cup in Michigan, another tournament which we won. Excellent indeed. Well, that's great preparations for the U.S. Open. I think you'll get the toughest competition at this tournament. No doubt, no doubt. I believe it's the most competitive uh, cricket, most most prestigious and the most competitive uh, tournament uh, in the United States at this point. There's absolutely no doubt about it, facility-wise and competition-wise and, uh, and, and prestige-wise. It is the prize uh, of the year. So we have uh, allocated our most resources towards this tournament and... Uh, and, and the most resources allocation. And since it's in Florida and we are, I'm from Pennsylvania here in Clarion County. So it, it's, it's, it's a little bit uh, of an operation for us to go that far away from home and, and get everything done in a very, very professional manner. What, what's, uh, I know you're already looking at the composition of your team. The tournament is just about a month and a bit away. I'm sure that you will be very keen to get some of the top players around the world to come and join the team. Last year you had, uh, the likes of Sunil Narayan. Yes, uh, Sunil Narayan would uh, is obviously uh, coming back. Uh, he, uh, he 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 is with the team. He's very much part of the team. This is his team, obviously. Uh, and uh, we have, uh, I think, last year where we lacked a little bit was uh, 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 death death bowling and bowling uh, in in with the due factor. So I think we have covered those uh, bases this year. Uh, that uh, we need bowlers that could uh, present variation to the batsmen in in at uh, thirteen to the twentieth over, and uh, you know some uh, some hard hitting batsmen. Uh, we have uh, Andre Fletcher in our team that is uh, uh, that is uh, also joining to make the batting order stronger. Uh, so yeah, we believe we have plugged those holes. Yeah, of course. And, uh, you know, last year would have been a learning exercise as well for your franchise uh, coming into the tournament. Uh, what are some of the things you would like to see being improved at this tournament? Uh, Tournament-wise, uh, can you repeat that question? I Yeah, what are some of the, the, the improvements you would like to see, not only from your team, but from the entire setup at US Open? Yes, um, I think... Uh... You know, to, to make comment tournament-wise, I've been to three tournaments so far. Uh, by far, U.S. Open has been the most professionally handled tournament. Um, last year, we had some stoppages in uh, in in the games, I believe. Uh, for one reason or the other, I couldn't quite grab what those stoppages were for. Uh, neither of the stoppages was in our game, so uh, it just uh, was a little bit frustrating. It was the other games. Uh, but uh, other than that, I have... Uh, I, I, I don't have anything uh, per se. Uh, I don't think I'm I'm experienced enough per se to make comments on the tournament organization as of yet. So I'll pass on that. Uh, but uh, for me, it was perfect last year. Excellent. It's great to hear. And I'm sure you're looking for 
more of the same this coming year. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. One hundred and fifty thousand in prize money. It's the biggest purse in the United States at this point in time. I believe so. Um, uh, uh, we have a we are we are part of other tournament. The prize money was not as much. Um, I believe. Uh, I believe it is a very uh, very welcome uh, step that I was uh, in talk with the with the Macuresi also and the tournament organizers, and I was urging them to bump up the prize money because it 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 makes it easy for us to go grab talent. Uh, uh, conveniently. Uh, you know these players that uh, they they fly from all over the world with the price money being low, being being at the point that you guys have now, it makes it very easy for us uh, to uh, get more talent in the tournament. Uh, definitely, you know it's a, a tournament that has caught the attention of the world when it comes to T Twenty cricket. Some of the top players in the world flying in, uh, CC USA for sanction in this tournament, and they've made all the. Um, appropriate connections. They have written to the ICC and also USA Cricket uh, to get approval uh, for this tournament as well. And this is very important. Yes, absolutely. Very, very important stuff. And I believe they do. They have gotten it every year and there is no reason that should should not get it this year. And uh, my final question to you, Yasser, what last year, you said there was some issues with your dead bowling. You said you you have actually attended to that. What different? How different will be your approach? Having gained the knowledge of what the US Open is about, your players would have gained a lot of knowledge about the conditions across there in South Florida. What's the biggest change you'll be hoping for <clears throat> this season? I think uh, I think the tournament is going to be very competitive. From uh, what it looks like. Uh, there is no major clash between this tournament and another uh, league internationally. Uh, there is Abu Dhabi T10, which ends at the fourth. So we have a couple of people, a couple of players flying straight from Abu Dhabi over here, uh, uh, joining us uh, to play US Open. So we don't have, I know the LPL is there, but we don't, that, that is still in limbo, but most, there's very little availability. So this tournament is not going to, conflict with any other uh, country leagues or, or local leagues. So which means that it's going to be very, very competitive. The talent pool available on this tournament will be higher. There is no room for mistake uh, as far as, uh, you know, in batting or in bowling or in fielding. So you have to have your all departments covered before you uh, get into this tournament. And on top of that, uh, I think uh, some of the biggest challenge that gets overlooked in these tournaments is that you you gotta get you gotta get going right away. There is no first leg, second leg of this tournament. There's only one leg, and that's it. You know, I mean, you get two, three games, and if you don't click together as a team, you you get, uh, yeah, you know, it's a, it, get yeah, behind it's pretty short. quick. That's very short. You want to hit the ground running, so to speak. Yeah. So we have. To do that, we have the same players that we have had in another tournament. So our core is the same. Uh, you know, these these people played uh, last year together and they played throughout the year together in other tournaments. Uh, that's one thing. Uh, we have uh, we have we have we have attention to our fielding unit also as to you know we are getting players that are fitter, younger, uh, in a, uh, and and then we the talent pool that we are gonna have. I'm sure uh, the squad date is coming up. Uh, to point anybody at the tournament. Well, I, you seem to be well prepared going into the tournament. You would have done your research with your players. And I, I will say that your team added a lot to the last US Open. We're looking forward to the same this year. I want to wish you and your team all the best and look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks' time. Thank you so much, Vinod. I appreciate it. Well, you've heard it there from Yasir Bati. He is the owner of the Parian County, and we saw what they did last year at the tournament. We're hoping for the same this year. Bye for now.